Hi everyone, this is an update on um, how I've been getting on with Off Blast. So uh, this weekend I actually managed to get some time to add a few features and uh, I know in the last video I said I was going to do um, some stuff around players and uh, different users but I realised that things aren't really usable as they are and that if something didn't appear in your list um, it was going to be difficult to find because we didn't have a find function. So what I've concentrated on is building some search functionality and making some other improvements. So let's boot it up and have a look. Well, here we are. So player select screen hasn't really changed. Uh, I do need to tidy this up a bit. I don't like the way this list here is, uh, isn't is censored, um, but I will get to it. So if I come in, um, so this is the same screen you saw last time, uh, lists probably haven't changed, uh, we've got jump back in now and also um, start tracking how long you've been playing a game so that you can get a list of your most played games here. So one of the other things I've changed is you used to be able to just scroll infinitely left and right and it just loop back around. I didn't like that much um, so I've put in this. Uh, this dead stop here and also if you look at the controller if you press the uh, shoulder buttons now it will jump from the start to the end uh, and the reason this is here is that I've put a menu in so that when you press left when you're all the way to the start the menu will appear so if I come all the way over here hit the shoulder button press left I've now got this this menu here um, with this new search function. So I quite like this radial style of text input and since this is a, a user interface that's designed to be used on sort of um, PCs that are connected to your TV uh, and used primarily with a handset, um, this seems to be a lot quicker to me than one of those on-screen keyboards where you have to press left, 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 down, down just to get one button. Um, so yeah, if we do a search for, let's get some Final Fantasy up, there we go. Now we're seeing search results. Now, I still need to put something in so that if there's only one row, it doesn't repeat the row over and over and over, but works just the same. And then if I come back, hit home, it'll bring me back to my home. Um, Another thing I've done is I've put a shortcut button up here on the, the Y button on an Xbox controller um, so that you can come and update your search results to whatever you want them to be. Um, there we go. So since it's been a while since I've worked on this and the Open Game DB, which is a, a GitHub hosted CSV database of all uh, different games that you might see on here. Uh, a lot of the image links are now broken. So I'm trying to find a, a more permanent high availability image upload site that would allow the sort of mass download that would happen when you first set things up. Um, I think I found one but obviously it's quite a lot of work to maintain a database so what I'm thinking is maybe build some kind of web app that um, allows people to curate the open game DB um, so that we can keep things nice and, and fresh and make sure we've got images for all the games. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about all the updates we've got uh, apart from this exit feature which wasn't there before. You could probably get away with using this now I think I'm going to install it on uh, the PC in my bedroom uh, just to, to play around with. It's a bit buggy, there are a few crashes here and there uh, just because I need to sort a few things out and it's still really alpha so unless you're sort of experienced with Linux and installing things on Linux I wouldn't recommend uh, trying to get this running. But it's getting there and uh, hopefully I'll have some more time over the next few weeks to fix the bugs and, uh, and make some changes. I think the next thing is going to be 
save storage. Um, so I think each user should each user should have their own save configurable save directory, and then when you uh, when you launch a game, whether it be RetroArch or whatever what whatever other emulator, uh, it's um, it will use that that directory, and the idea behind it really is that if I've got two PCs, one in the living room, one in the bedroom, and somebody else is using the one in the bedroom. Uh, that I can just go and pick up where I left off on another PC. So initially I'm thinking I'd probably do that with a, a network share, but it would be nice at some point to have some kind of save uh, sync feature, I think. So yeah, I'm just going to keep playing around with it and uh, see how, how far I can get in the next sort of month and then I'll update you again. All right, guys, if you uh, want to check this out, the GitHub link is in the description. If you do have any uh, any questions about it, just get in touch, leave a comment, and uh, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Take care. See you soon.